Welcome to Your Daily Dose, a devotion ministry of the Faith Baptist Church of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. Thanks for joining us each weekday as we share God's Word with you. It's your daily prescription for all that ails you. And now, Your Daily Dose. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Daily Dose. Uh, I'm Pastor Matt, pastor of Faith Baptist Church, and it's a joy to be with you today. Thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day and spending it with me. So uh, today for our devotion, we're going to go all the way back uh, to the book of Genesis, way back uh, all the way to the Garden of Eden in Genesis chapter number 3. And what I want to talk to you about today, there's a lot we could say about uh, about this passage, but uh, we we are told in Scripture that the Christian life is spiritual warfare. It's constant spiritual warfare. And if you've ever tried to live for the Lord in the world, you know that that's true to a degree. Uh, you're going you're gonna to try and things are going to fight against you. Uh, the world is going to fight against you. It's going to run in opposition to what you're trying to do because God says one thing and the world says another. And so when you, when you get serious and say, I'm going to start living for the Lord, uh, you're going to get resistance from the world. Uh, we we have an enemy in the devil. Uh, Satan is our enemy, and that's I'm going to talk a little bit about his tactics today. That's the subject of our devotion this morning. Uh, but he will uh, resist you, and he will uh, uh, create opposition in front of you. And in really, you'll find that he, that yourself you'll get resistance and opposition from yourself, our our own flesh. Uh, fights against what we're trying to do for the Lord. But today I want to talk to you for just a few moments, if I could, about the tactics of the enemy. Uh, Satan is our enemy. He is real. Uh, You say, Brother Matt, do you believe in a real personal devil? I do believe in a real personal devil because the Bible speaks of of such a person. And so uh, there are many references in the Bible. I'm not going to... uh, you know, get into the doctrine of the devil this morning uh, in any great length, but uh, but he does exist according to the Word of God. He is a real person, and he opposes God and God's agenda. He opposes God's people, and so if you're out there this morning and you say, "Well, I'm a I'm a child of God. I'm a believer, and I'm trying to live for the Lord in my life," uh, I can guarantee you from the Word of God you're going to have opposition uh, from the enemy. This morning, I want to talk with you for just a few minutes, if I could, about some of his strategies, some of his tactics. The Apostle Paul in the New Testament said that that he talked about the wiles of the devil. And that word wiles means his strategies or his tactics. Well, we first meet the devil in the Garden of Eden in the book of Genesis chapter 3. Verse number one, he appeared to Eve in the form of a serpent. And I want to share with you a little bit about how he tempted Eve to eat from the tree, the fruit of the tree that God told uh, Adam and Eve not to eat of. Okay, so in verse number one, the Bible says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said... Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And of course, if you know anything about the Bible at all, you know that Eve uh, succumbed to the temptation, and then she took some of the fruit to Adam, and he ate also and, and disobeyed and sinned, and that's what, uh, that's what plunged humanity into sin and started all the problems that we uh, see even to this day. But I want to focus this morning, uh, if I could, on a couple of Satan's strategies. There are three strategies that Satan employed against Eve, and these are uh, strategies that he will try to use against you. 
Now, I got three words I want to give you. They all start with the letter M. Number one, the first one is he will try to muddy things. He will try to muddy things. Sometimes the devil won't outright lie, but he will just sort of try to create gray areas, and he'll try to kind of muddy the water a little bit and create some confusion in your mind about what God really wants you to be doing. In verse number one, we see here that it says, he, he, the serpent, said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And so he begins with what seems like a harmless question, but it wasn't a harmless question. The devil was asking Eve a question that he already knew the answer to. And friend, whenever somebody, or if you do it yourself to somebody else, if someone ever asks you a question that they know the answer to already, they have an agenda. Okay, they're not seeking information. They are, they, they've got some type of agenda. And I'm going to tell you this. The devil knows, or he knew exactly what God said. He knew what the rules were. He knew where the boundaries were. He was asking Eve the question, trying to create a little bit of confusion and create a, a question in her mind. Something else that he did that I've always found fascinating, somebody pointed this out to me years ago, and ever since then I've always really been uh, fascinated by this. In verse number one, the devil says, Yea, hath God said, now, if you go back to the very beginning and start in Genesis 1-1, you will find that every time God's name is invoked, it's always the Lord God, the Lord God, the Lord God. Now, God, the title God, speaks of his being, who he is. He is God. But the term Lord is a title of authority. It's a title of, um, of uh, a supremacy. And so Satan, it says in verse 1 that he is subtle, and he very subtly removed Lord from in front of God. Now, he still referred to God as God, but he dropped the Lord off of it. And so uh, that was just another little subtle tactic that he used with Eve to just try to kind of muddy the issue in her mind, okay? So uh, number one, he muddied the issue. Number two, he maligned the Lord. He maligned the Lord. Now, this is where he gets very uh, aggressive, and he tells an outright lie about the Lord. In verse number 4, uh, the Bible says, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Ye shall not surely die. So in the beginning, he's subtle, and he's just trying to muddy the waters up a little bit. But when you get to verse number 4, it's an outright, full frontal assault. He is, he is telling an outright lie about the Word of God. And that's how the, that's how the, the enemy works. You've got to be really careful uh, uh, when, you're, when you're dealing with, with spiritual things. A lot of times we'll say, well, that's not a real important issue. That's just a secondary issue. And, and you've got to make sure that you're not letting uh, what you call little things go because when it comes to spiritual things and when it comes to the Lord, what is little and what is secondary? You know, we, if, if something's not clear, then we'll admit, hey, this isn't clear. And uh, maybe there's a little bit of room for disagreement there. But um, the devil will always begin with subtlety and he'll get you uh, to maybe give away something small, but he never stops there. He always uh, moves uh, rapidly in a much more aggressive direction. So watch for that in your in your in your daily life as you're uh, you know guarding yourself against the enemy's tactics. And then number three, the third thing that he did was he marketed uh, against Eve. He he had a marketing campaign. In verse number five, it says, "For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, your eyes will be open, your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good." And evil. So what does he do? He muddies the water, then he maligns the promise, he maligns the, 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 the truth, he lies about it, and then he markets this new reality. 
And he says, listen, God is trying to keep things from you. He's trying to, to keep you from something even better. He knows that the day that you uh, do this, you're not going to die. But not only are you not going to die, you're going to be like him. And, uh, you know, who wouldn't want to be like God, right? And so Eve fell for that. And the devil said, you know, you're missing out on something. A lot of times when we think of the devil, we think of somebody in red pajamas and a tail and a pitchfork and horns and all this sort of thing. And that's not what the devil looks like, friend. The Bible says he'll transform himself in an angel of light. He will always make death look like life. He'll always make destruction look as much like victory as he can. And so, so he's a great counterfeiter. And he will, he will operate subtly in a, in a backdoor approach with you. Never really, not very often does he, does he take the front door approach. And, and so you'll often see the world and the devil and the enemy uh, uh, making uh, life without God and making sin look very attractive when the Bible tells us the truth about it, that the end is the ways of death. And so watch for his tactics. Watch for him even today. He, he will muddy, he will malign, and he will mark it. And so be, be really careful and be on the lookout for that. Well, thanks for being with us today for a few minutes. I hope you've uh, been helped by this in some way. We're going to pray, and then I'll see you next time. God bless you. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that you've given us all the victory in Christ. But Lord, as we live this life on, on this earth, I pray that we would watch, that we would be engaged as Christians, engaged in the battle, and that we might be mindful of our enemy and mindful of his tactics that he uses against us. Uh, Lord, protect us from him, but help us to walk circumspectly. Help us to walk wisely uh, and not just walk right into traps. Your word has prepared us for his traps, and I pray that we would be, uh, uh, our eyes would be open pertaining to these things, and we'll thank you for all you do in Jesus' name. Amen. This has been your Daily Dose, a ministry of Faith Baptist Church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and click the bell next to the button to sign up for email notifications each time we live stream or release a new video. To learn more about faith, please visit our website, fitinatfaith.com, for more information about our church. Have a great day in the Lord.